Hey guys, this is Angie at Chicken Scratch, and today I'm going to show you how to make one of these larger fabric baskets using two fat quarters. I hope you enjoy the video. So I've gone ahead and cut my fabric. This is my front fabric. This is my lining fabric, and both of these measure 14 inches by 20 inches. I also have two pieces of my interfacing, and that measures 13 inches by 19 inches, and that interfacing is this one right here, 931 TD. So now that the fabric has been pressed and I've cut it, the next step is we want to add the interfacing to the back of the fabric. So I'm adding it to the front fabric and the lining fabric. So I'm gonna place this um, sticky side down on the back of each piece, and then we're going to press it. So that's the front fabric. And then here is the lining fabric. And now I'm going to get the iron. Okay, so this is my lining fabric. And I'm just going to turn this over. And then I'm going to start pressing in the center. I've got my iron on wool setting. And I do want to use steam. For this interfacing, it does prefer steam. And it also tells you to leave your iron in each spot for 10 seconds. So I'm clearly going to fast forward this because <laughs> this is gonna take a while to um, hold it in each spot for 10 seconds. You wanna make sure that you start in the middle and then work your way out. So both the lining fabric and the front fabric, you want to start in the middle and then press towards the edge of the fabric, okay? So I'm gonna fast forward this. Okay, so it looks like I'm done with the lining fabric and I just want to open it up and make sure that I did. And look, I didn't. So you need to just make sure that you seal all the edges. Now I'm gonna do the same exact thing to the front fabric. So I'm just centering that and then flipping it over. Place this right in the middle. So we just finished pressing the interfacing to the lining and the front fabric, and now we want to add our label. If you don't have a label, then you can skip this step. So I'm, I'm adding it to my front fabric. I'm gonna fold it in half, like that. And then if you fold this in half, that kind of gives you your halfway point. And you wanna bring that up at least three inches from the halfway point. So here's the halfway point. I'm gonna bring it up about right there. Make sure your label is uh, straight before you pin it. And I'm gonna use a wonder clip first to hold it in place, and then I'm gonna pin it. Okay, so there's that. Now what we're gonna do is bring these right sides together and I'm going to clip the top and then down here at the bottom, I'm gonna clip the right and then the left and then where the label is, I'm just gonna remove that clip and then re-clip it, okay? So now this is ready to sew and we're gonna take it over to the sewing machine in just a minute. So let's go ahead and get the lining fabric ready. We're gonna do the exact same thing. We're just going to bring those together and clip it. For the sides that we're about to sew, we're going to use a quarter inch seam. Okay, so I'll see you at the sewing machine. Okay, I'm going to start with the front fabric, and like I said, I am sewing with a quarter inch seam. Okay, now that we've sewn the left and the right, we wanna make sure that we got the label sewn in the side. 
So we just wanna open this up, take that pin out, and I did get it in the seam, so yay. The next step is we are going to cut out the corners, and that's called boxing the corners, or boxing, yeah, boxing the corners. You've got your opening up here, okay? Down here, I'm gonna cut or draw, draw a line, and you wanna make sure that your two inches is on this stitch line, not the edge of your fabric, but on that stitch line. So I've got the two inches here and the two inches down here, and then I'm just gonna use my erasable marker. Whoops. Keep it straight if you can. There's that one. Now we're gonna do the same thing over here on this side. Again, lining it up with the seam, the stitch line. And the same thing for the lining. Now let's take some scissors and we're going to cut that out. Same thing for the lining fabric. Last one. Okay, so the next step is we're going to open this up. Let me get this one out of the way. And we're going to kind of sort of line those seams up, okay? And then line this up here. And clip it. Now you can also pin it if you want to. Again, I just wanna make sure that I've got that straight and then I'm gonna flip it over on this side and do the exact same thing. We're gonna take this to the sewing machine and we're gonna stitch straight across on both sides. Now let's do the same thing to the lining fabric. So this is um, almost completely identical to my original fabric basket. There's a couple changes, uh, different measurements, number one. Um, I'm also using different interfacing, and I'm also using a different seam allowance on the top of the bag. So there is a little bit of difference, and I do think that uh, this way is a little bit easier than the older one. You haven't gotten to that step yet, but we will. Okay, so we're going to the sewing machine now. Okay, so again, I'm using a quarter inch seam. Okay, so we've just sewn the bottom and I'm going to trim those extra threads on both pieces. Okay, so now I'm gonna take the lining and I'm gonna turn it right sides out. Make sure you poke out those corners. This basket or bag or whatever you wanna call it is big enough that you can do that with your fingers. So I'm gonna now open up the lining fabric and we're gonna place the, or the front fabric. So this is the front fabric. You can see my label inside here. This is my lining and I'm gonna place this inside here. Okay, so now I've got the lining fabric inside of the front fabric and I'm gonna start over here on the seam and I'm going to pin it, okay? 
Then I'm gonna come over here to this side and I'm gonna line that seam up and I'm going to pin it, or clip it, I should say. Okay, so I wanna make sure everything's straight. We've clipped the two sides. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to pin where I want to leave an opening to turn the bag right side out. So this is where I'm gonna start sewing, and this is where I'm gonna stop sewing, okay? So start and stop, because we're going around. So then over here, I'm just going to clip it a few more times so that everything stays straight while I'm sewing it. Now, here's the most important part about this, this video is that when I take this over to my sewing machine, this time I'm actually sewing a half inch seam. So a half inch all the way around. And the reason I changed that measurement is because I have found that it is so much easier to close this opening when I've sewn a half inch seam instead of a quarter inch because that quarter inch is so small when you're trying to close this, a half inch is so much better. Okay, so I'll see you at the sewing machine. Okay, so as a recap, I'm gonna start sewing here and I'm gonna sew at a half inch seam. So on this sewing machine, my little plate right here, it has a half inch mark and it has a 5 8 mark. I'm gonna line it up to this half inch and I'm gonna start sewing where this pin is. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that out and line this up right there at the half inch and then start sewing. Okay, so now you want to trim any of your threads that you see, and we're going to turn this bag right side out. You wanna push out those corners. Okay, this is my front fabric. You can see my tag there. So now I'm gonna place the lining inside the front fabric. So I'm gonna start over here on the right side and I'm going to pin this. And then I'm gonna come over here on the other side and pin it as well. Okay, so now we wanna find that opening. And if your bag up here, uh, if your front fabric is showing through to the inside, the lining fabric, just kind of roll these so that you get it, um, get it straight. Hopefully that makes sense. Sometimes um, you can see your lining fabric from the front and you just need to roll those, okay? Now, let's come over here and close this opening because this is the most important part at this point, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a pin where I'm gonna stop sewing, and I'm not technically gonna stop. That's just where the opening, where the end of it is. Okay, so I'm trying to make sure I keep this straight so that there's no mess ups. If you're gonna mess up, this is usually the spot for it to happen, right? Okay. Now I'm gonna pin the rest of this. Now, if you're wondering why I'm pinning and not clipping, it's because the sewing machine that I'm doing this video on, it um, doesn't have space for those larger clips. So I need to buy some more of the smaller ones. 
Okay, so we're going over the sewing machine. We're going to sew a quarter inch seam around the entire top and then we'll be done. Then all we'll have to do is press it. Okay, so now I'm going to start sewing this in this seam right here. Now my sewing machine, the one I'm on right now, is a pretty small machine. So this bigger uh, bag or basket has a little difficulty. <laughs> um, okay, so again, I'm lining it up in the seam. And then a quarter inch seam across the entire top. So we've just sewn across the entire top of the bag. And now what you wanna do is trim any of those extra threads. And we want to give it a little press now. So I'm just gonna take my little mini ironing board and I'm gonna take my iron and I'm just gonna press it all the way around. And I usually do the same thing right before I mail it um, to the person I'm gonna give it to. Now, I'm not gonna iron the whole thing because like I said, I'll be ironing it again. But what I'm gonna do now is just turn down the top and you don't have to do this step if you don't want to. Um, yeah, it's, it's up to you. And the other option, so here's how it looks with the top folded down. Nice size basket, right? The other thing you could do is you could turn it in this direction. So it is a reversible fabric basket. The only catch is that you don't have a tag on this side. So that might be what you prefer. And see, now you can change how the basket looks or the bag. I like it the other way, of course, because I chose that outside fabric because that was my favorite. Okay, so that wraps up this project. Don't forget there's a free PDF over on my website. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thanks so much. Have a great day.